And this right here was almost a death sentence. If that troll would have gotten me <laughs> with that swing, that archer is really annoying, so let me get him. And then I dodge roll, and then the archer got me, and dodge rolled again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we have one. <laughs> I was just gonna say we had no serpent. But yeah, this ha we kind of need his... Uh, kind of need his roots for the chest piece of the leech and accidentally I fell into the water in front of the leech and I got 22 seconds of poison I had no poison resistance meat I had to pop one really quick here yet in the boat luckily I had the boat hello dear fellow Vikings welcome back to another episode from our adventure into the world of Valheim we're doing Hardcore permadeath with max settings, I'm sure you know. I'm gonna post the settings right here on the top right corner of the screen so you can see them. And maybe if you choose to play along with me, you will be able to do so. So, 10th uh, episode, we're in for some fun. Just uh, just sorting some stuff around the base at this point. And then I decided <laughs> that uh, I need a pocket size card. Right, so we can uh, transport the cart into our pockets. So I started smacking the crap out of this little thingy. So we can eventually get him into our inventory and... Uh, yeah, like I said, having a pocket size cart. These three seagulls were super fun. So there was one, two and three. I've never had three seagulls. <laughs> so close to each other and then... Uh, to be able to snipe them really quick. I went to the boat right here because I said like, you know, this boat, it's, it's pointless just sitting here doing nothing and no, oh no. And the ground started shaking while, while I was near the boat. And this right here was almost a death sentence. If that troll would have gotten me <laughs> with that swing, if I hadn't dodge roll right then and there, that would have been the end of the run. Yeah, so the base is not actually ready for trolls, as you can see here. They're, <laughs> they're, oh my god, they're tearing my gates apart. There you go, no more gates. Now they can peek inside. There goes my privacy, right? So yeah, this wasn't good. I had to do something about the trolls, because yeah, Grey Dwarves and, and other stuff, even the Draugr can, uh, we can withstand the Draugr attacks. But the trolls, they have that insane reach, especially the one with the log. I feel like that one's really, really annoying. And it's starting to, to piss me off. So yeah. Now I didn't want to go out there, and I don't want to go, because there might be another one. Yeah, there you go. So imagine going right there to have a look, right? And the next one just slams the ground when you're near. Now that the shaking begins to fade, I found my courage. <laughs> Decided to jump here really quick and have a look. So that's the gate, yeah. Not much left of it. Um, hello there. <laughs> so they're not done. The event is over, and they're still here. Luckily, they make a lot of noise. If they were sneakier, this would have been easy, by far, uh, the most dangerous enemy in the game. Because, yeah, you know, you have Draugr that do a lot of damage, but they're, they have a really hard time detecting you in the swamp, the Draugr. In the Black Forest, all the enemies are accessible, you just need to be a bit um, careful. But trolls, on the other hand, I like... Even wolves, I feel like I'm more comfortable with wolves than trolls. Because you can withstand even one or two wolf bites. But a troll swing, you're gone. <laughs> you're just like that, gone. Yeah, this was not a good idea right here. I tried to climb the stairs, so my own system failed me. And I'm running out of stamina, and this is dumb. I got all the iron and, like, obviously wanted to get it through here, and I was stubborn. <laughs> and there goes the stamina, and now we're drowning. Because why not? 
This is one of those bad ideas. Yep. <laughs> there. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? But yeah, we're gonna go for the swamp. Obviously. With the, uh, the better boat. The better boat. We're gonna craft the boat really soon. I just got hindered by, by so many unpredicted events, I guess. Like the trolls. And you're gonna see their... Uh, given the fact that the raid setting is on the max, the game is even more annoying. So I don't know if you can make the game even more difficult without mods than this. Right here. No map, no portals, permadeath, hardcore. One, one tiny itsy bitsy screw up and you're gone. So I feel like this is the the best the ultimate challenge for uh, for this game. Yeah. I had to come with the system here because this right here, this is silly. So I have no gates, I have no nothing. Yeah, this doesn't work properly. On to smelting we go. Luckily, one of you guys in the comments um, has taught me this cool trick where you can... Uh, actually get the wood and your resources into the kilns and into the smelters really fast by placing them on the hotkeys and then smashing the crap out of those hotkeys and as you can see the video is not sped up at this point it's on normal speed the coal gets in there like super super fast just make sure you get the right hole that's what she said right uh, okay. Same here. If you split them evenly, you get a lot faster. You get them in there a lot faster. In the smelter. Oh yeah, once I... Try not to do that. Try not to mix ores. Or there will be a total disaster. I mixed some ores last time. And it didn't... <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. Get re getting rid of the stumps. I don't need to say why. <laughs> it was that little failed project where we had a lot of uh, trees near the base or in the base. Because I said, you know, green is good. Let's have some oxygen here. Because it feels like, like a fortress, like one of those medieval fortresses with no trees, no nothing inside. But yeah, these trees and the stumps were a problem. So we had to get rid of them. Purely for aesthetical purposes. I had a lot of wood. I was low on resin though, so uh, I needed to get some resin. But yeah, look at the beautiful carrot garden right here. A lot of carrot. So this is the advantage with double resources. You're getting um, you're getting less grind, so the game becomes less boring. Because with normal resources, it's, it's a bit insane. It's a bit insane to play it. Heck, you can go in with half resources or 0.5 of the normal resources and that's even crazier that doesn't add to the difficulty of the game that just makes the game annoying so not not difficult it's just annoying because you have to spend more time grinding so that was a day let's just sleep on it and hopefully we don't snore not that I have a wife in here to hear me snore so who knows we can snore without knowing that we can snore do you guys snore? <laughs> I didn't think I was snoring, but I eventually I found out that I was. My wife told me when I got married. When I was single, nothing happened. Okay, getting the resources here. Obviously, the iron is super, super duper heavy. I don't know why they had to make them so, so heavy. But yeah, Gears is 30 ingots, you can't carry them that easily. If you had 30 iron ingots on you in real life, you wouldn't be able to move, <laughs> let alone <laughs> uh, walk. Yeah, so um, I had to come up with a system here. And I was like, you know what? Well, let's raise this wall too, but not all the way up so I can get through here. But the monsters can't. I'm gonna get nice and flat. Little cute surface here. There's a bulge down there and I didn't like it. I was checking to see here <laughs> if I can. Uh, yeah, if I can get up. 
because uh, it didn't. The idea with stairs didn't strike me until uh, later. So yeah, make it nice and smooth. Yeah, but this is this is stupid. I'm, I'm burning half of my stamina in case of emergency. Yeah, so eventually I uh, came up with the idea of stairs here. And I changed these stairs later, you'll see in future videos. Because those are letters, so I wanted stairs, because it's smoother and I can get even my cart. It's easier to get the items from the cart in the base with the uh, stairs, not the ladder. I keep calling them stairs because, yeah, whatever. But it's a weird animation, I wish, I wish they changed this animation, because you're jumping like, like jumping on each uh, on each ladder, on each step. Finally getting the stone cutter. Now I forgot that we can decorate the base, we can have the pavement in here, and I kinda need to do that. I kinda forget about the kinda forgot about the pavement, the paved road. Yeah, it definitely makes uh, makes the base a bit cooler. Not having to deal with all the dirt. Getting some sweet upgrades here. Because why not? <laughs> Since we have the resources. Yeah, it needs more space. No, it doesn't. But yeah, I wasn't sure about the Smith's Anvil. Takes so much iron. 20. Wow. They really burn through. The, the game really burns through your iron ingots. I mean, sure, you get them pretty easy, but still. You, you, <laughs> you'll end up running out of uh, iron ingots really fast. So you just need to farm more. Okay, getting the next upgrade. And so on and so forth. At this point I think the forge is yeah level six. We don't we just need the bellows. But I can't have that because I don't have enough chain. I only took out one wraith. And I found no chain in the first dungeon. Yeah, it's, it's awesome that you in, in the swamp you have those uh, dungeons where you get the resources. It's pretty amazing, you get the chain and everything. Wish they had that in the burial chambers too, because only the only thing you can find in burial chambers is death. <laughs> and certain cores. Yeah, you, you they should add some uh, bronze in there. Just one or two ingots will help a lot. With a small uh, with a small rate. Starting to tear down the boat here and I was like, you know what? I think with the bow. It's faster. And it was faster. It just needs to deal damage <laughs> to it. Doesn't matter if it's an axe, a sword, a bow, or a uh, spear. You just need to use it the tool that deals most damage. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's actually... I didn't see where... Oh, there it is. Let's have the boat in here and let's jump into water and spam. Place it. Yeah, I failed. Because I wanted to have an... Oh, no. I wanted to have the boat in the direction toward the swamp. And an event started, and I'm in the water. Great. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that was so close. Why do these events always happen when I'm at the docks? So, uh, yeah. And I'm kind of cut out of side the walls, because I don't have the ladders here. The ladders are only on the inside. I tried to climb here, burning through my stamina. Wasn't able to climb. I don't know, in, I don't know why, thinking that I think it was wet, <laughs> the surface is wet and it's slippery. So I activated the, the most overpowered buff in the game, just to make sure that I can run around the base and get away from these guys. Because obviously this is not your normal raid, so they're Draugr, and the Draugr Archer right there, who actually got me because, oh come on. <laughs> I just roll like a noob there. But you'll see, uh, this is not over. They almost got me here. And you're gonna see why in a second. Actually, I was super scared at this point. I thought this was it, this was over, it was a nice run so far, and uh, yeah, I kind of died stupidly. So this, th these were my thoughts right after the next se scene or sequence. I was trying to run around here and there just to wait for the event to end and I was like that archer is really annoying so let me get him and then I dodge roll and then the archer got me and dodge rolled again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was super super scary at that point I thought it's over it's over GG <laughs> 
it was a nice run. And it would have been really, really dumb to die during an event, such a silly event like this one, after I got the base going, especially a base created solely for the purpose of being safe inside during such events. But somehow I was dumb enough to be cut outside the walls. And I was like here, you know what? Well, let's, let me have my vengeance. Let me have my vengeance on these guys. So the archer was the first one to get it. I was like, nah, you're not, you're not, you're not getting away. These guys were trying to get away. <laughs> I had, I had no stamina. I had all of them on me, and it's annoying because in hardcore, they have a lot of movement speed and they push each other. So if one of them stops to swing at you, the one behind them, when they're a lot, that's that's the, the annoying thing. The one behind them pushes him, and eventually you'll screw up and they will get the swing at you. In the end, oh, let's have the boat. Why not? All that hard work, all that struggle. Yeah, we kind of needed the boat. The fermenter is finished. Now we have more poison resistance. Yeah, don't even try to go to the swamp without the poison resistance mead. That would be really dumb, really silly. Especially on this difficulty. So yeah, time to add some letters. So we can get back in the base. If we get an event. Or caught outside during an event. Yeah. Testing to see if they work. They were pretty fine. Nothing to worry there. So, nothing to do. Let's just sleep on it. Another day in the beautiful end of all time. Checking for some um, recipes here. Let's see if we can get the medium healing meads. Because why not? I have only have the minor one on me. And that's really, obviously, not a good idea to go with that in the swamp. I wanted to feel safer in case of anything. But yeah, even the small one helps you a lot, right? During an emergency situation, even the small one helps a lot. But yeah, we kind of needed that 75 health from the mead. Because that would cover around 60% of our HP. Instead of uh, 40%. Like the other mead does. So yeah, finally got the hearth. And now we can have a nice cooking area. This is the most OP cooking area, as you, as you know. Getting back all the cauldron and uh, setting up a proper kitchen. You can have the cooking stations like this in here. They're super practical and you're gonna need them. And you can have the big iron thingy cooker, I don't know what's called. You need some chain for that, where you cook the large chunks of meat. You can have it on top of that. And we'll, we're gonna have it later because, like I said, I have no chains. No chains whatsoever. And this is it, folks. Let's celebrate together. We're gonna get the Huntsman's Bow. Which is easily... For me, at least up until the Mistlands, this is the best bow. Not the Draugr Fang, but this one. Simply because you're gonna see it working when we go into the... If we get to the plains. When we go into the plains, so let's craft it and then upgrade it super fast. This bow is the most OP, in my uh, opinion, better than the Draugrfang, because it won't alert nearby enemies. So let's see, for instance, you're attacking a uh, fueling village, right? And using a Draugrfang, if you hit a fueling, the entire village will aggro on you. But with a Huntsman bow, they won't, because it's way silent. So actually the bows make noise, like the spear, for instance. If you throw a spear, it makes a lot of noise, and all the animals need... 10 meter radius are gonna come charging at you, right? Same thing here. We're gonna just compare the bows at this point. So look at that. Amazing. 41. 41. Moving on to the next one, which is 51. Now, 10 damage is not a lot, you may think, but trust me, it is. Once we get the obsidian arrows, it's a game changer. And of course, another bloody event. 
But this time we're in the base <laughs> and we can just relax here. Going outside right here, watching the event unfold. Like I said, you're super safe behind these walls. They can't, they're un unbreachable, right? Yeah, so talking about the Huntsman bow, while well, we're waiting here for the event to run its course. Like I said, you won't... Uh, it's super silent, right? The bow, the Huntsman's bow is super silent. That's why I prefer it. When you're hunting, when you're uh, going for uh, monsters or uh, fueling villages or anything else that can get aggroed on you, even the locks, you can uh, you can get the locks with this bow and not aggro them on you, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Because I, I usually use the Draugr effect, you know, for the damage and the poison effect and whatnot. Come on, come on, <laughs> there you go. But um, overall, if you attack three locks with the Draugr Fang Bow, they will all aggro on you. Where Come on, really? <laughs> you almost got me. Whereas uh, if you if you use this one, only one Draugr Fang, Draugr Fang, come on, only one locks will come at you and charge you. Changing the structure of the chest in the kitchen. I was really annoyed by the fact that I have no room here for all the vegetables and whatnot. So uh, yeah, changing uh, the, um, the structure of the chest is really important. Right here. I was really, really tired and I, we kind of need better chests. So I'm just fiddling with the signs and, and I said like, you know what? This is the best spot for a sign where I can access the chests and also see what the sign says. You know me by, if you watch the channel right up until this point, you know me that I like things well and organized in my chests. And when I need something to craft or to run and go super fast, I have them uh, labeled and everything. <laughs> these are like sticky notes. So yeah, I'm, we're gonna color these white. Always use the white color because it's the easiest to see, even if it's pitch black in your house. They're super easy to see. One for the meat and the next one for the vegetables. Let's just sort things in these chests super fast. Have the veggies in one. All the honey, ingredients, carrots, what what do we have here? Everything. Everything. <laughs> we kind of need everything at this point. So don't be shy. Gather all the resources, especially if you're going to play with no map. So gather all the resources that you can have find. I'm talking mushrooms and everything. Because you're going to need them later. Another day went. And it was a pretty eventful day. Checking for the meads. They're not done. They're not ripe just yet. But these things are, so let's just collect them. So these are nice, super nice. <laughs> We're getting the turnip, we can have the spice rack. This is easily the largest upgrade to your uh, your food system and everything. So it's pretty amazing to have this early game, but yeah, it kind of requires a trip to the swamp. And that can be quite dangerous. Especially if you're going to play this madness of a game. Lo and behold, the mighty sausages. <laughs> and the mighty mukshake. Getting the food here, the better food, obviously. I still have, I think, a batch of the normal food, the previous one. You know, with the deer meat and minced meat sauce and a carrot soup. But yeah, where we were able to get the black soup too, which was super, super cool. Rightfully so. So right after getting these, this amazing food, I found out that the event had actually was over, was actually over. So I went to clear the remaining monsters. But these guys don't despawn; they will just stand here, and you will you will be unable to sleep because of them. They're, they're just they're just annoying. They're just there and annoying. They have <laughs> no other use. You can get some decent resources out of them. Right, checking to see if my materials are in order. If I have everything on me and I forgot one of the most important things right here. And I just realized that I forgot to take with me 
a card, right? So we're going to the swamp. I have, I have the meads with me. I have the potions. I have the forge for the bow. But I forgot to bring the most important thing that would allow me to actually transport stuff, which is the cart. And you're gonna see <laughs> later in the video, I'm gonna have a really hard time transporting the iron that I uh, farmed. Just because I was really sloppy, I guess, at that point. So yeah. This bow makes all the difference in the world, obviously. But it's hard to get it running, or get it going, <laughs> like you see here. And it's super fast, look at that speed. <laughs> it's four, di four times the normal speed, so... Yeah, but obviously this is the... Before the boat yeah, that you're gonna get in for the Ashlands. This is super, super fast. And I had a storm in the middle of the ocean here, near the coastline. I'm navigating near the coastline. Look at the size of those waves. I'm not afraid of anything in this world, but I am afraid of waves. Or, I'm not afraid of anything but waves. <laughs> A large one of that. Look at the size of those monsters. We had no... Oh, we have one! <laughs> I was just gonna say we had no serpent. But yeah, this happened. And I had no wind. Fortunately, I was near the coastline. I was like, you know, will this boat be able to take it? Will this boat be able to resist? The wind, uh, we caught the wind there. Checking to see if the boat actually can stand a few blows from the sur sea serpent. But yeah, I haven't farmed this guy. I haven't looked for him. For obvious reasons. I don't want to die. <laughs> but yeah, it's a super rare find. I was just here trying to get our boat. And it's cool if you get it near the coastline, you can get the serpent shield. Or the serpent scales, like here. If you're gonna kill it near the coastline, you can actually dive into the water, jump from a really um, high place, and get all those precious scales. But for us, we're just interested in his meat. Time to repair the boat. Got a bit damaged there. So yeah, let's go for that meat. This thing will make me... Yeah, I can't. I don't know, now I'm overweight. Or encumbered. So, uh, I usually turn the SS here down to when I... Uh, let's place them there. When I travel with the boat. Just because it helps me see the distant lands better. And it's less punishing during night time and everything. So I spotted a troll there and I figured out, you know what? Let's test the bow, because I think... I'm not 100%... No, yeah, we tested the bow in the Draugr event. Right. But I said, let's test it against the troll and see how it fares. And it fares pretty nice, the troll wasn't even able to get close to us. And keep in mind, this is hardcore, right? But yeah, the troll wasn't able to get us or come near us. So I think it went pretty well. I like the bow, I love it. For me, like I said, it's the most overpowered bow. Up until you get those bows in the... Um, or the bow in the Mistlands. The Spine Tap? Or the Spine Snap? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Which is it? Yeah. Great navigation skills. Going on the route with the Titanic. Trying to sink the boat. <laughs> at this point. Look at this sailing conditions, folks. This, this, is, this weather is amazing, right? So, you trying to sail, luckily for me, I'm navigating near my islands, so close to the islands, and I can see them. But yeah, these are the worst, and this is not the worst. Nighttime and fog is the worst, and you're gonna see that really soon. At this point, I was almost lost, almost went uh, the wrong way, because swamp was... Look at this. Try and tell me if you see something during this. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. But yeah. So like I said, almost got lost here. The swamp was on the left side of this island that I'm nearby. And I almost went the wrong way. So I had to... Navigate. I didn't have the wind up until this point. 
and to navigate my uh, paddling, which takes a lot of time, as you can tell. That was <laughs> that was quite a fail. Oh no. Look at that. I was just arriving here and I found a ghost. What is the thing? What is that? That's kind of creepy. Can we shoot it? Oh, let's try and shoot it. Oh. Nothing. No damage, no nothing. Oh. I went away. What was that? Was that Odin trying to uh, check us out? <laughs> Let's sleep on it here. Was that a ghost? I've heard something about Odin that the creatures like Odin watching you or stuff. That was that was kind of creepy to see that uh, out of nowhere. Getting the forge, super easy here. Like I said, we're going to need the forge to uh, craft or to repair our bow. Sorry. But yeah, we're going to need the forge with us that we have because we have no portals to uh, repair the next pick. This was stupid. The ground shaking right down in here. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'm safe here in the meadows. But apparently the trolls got the best of me here. <laughs> they got me surrounded. And I had to use the Ike Theater to run away. I didn't want to do this near the swamp to attract even more enemies. Also, that was not a flat ground. And I needed some to put some distance between me and the trolls. Kind of got this guy, almost got him staggered. But his friend decided to <laughs> uh, intervene and make my life difficult. Why not? Thank you, Mr. Troll. May you rest in blue goodness forever. I wish they were other color. Now, I know the rarest troll is the two-star troll and I've never in three years of Valheim I've never seen a two-star troll I've seen in other people's videos but yeah I've seen a one-star but never a two-star let me know have you encountered a true two-star troll what damage will they deal I'm curious to see if on normal mode the two-star troll damage is equivalent to the normal damage of a troll in the hardcore that would be interesting a comparison yeah, I almost ran out of the circle. There is a red circle on your map, if you play with the map. And if you run out of it, the event is still going, but the monsters are uh, are not chasing you. Or they might be chasing you, but they're not spawning if you kill them. So yeah, the ground is still shaking. And I'm looking here, I can't see the other troll. He maybe vanished, went away. Huh. Oh, oh. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. And I'm missing. And I'm missing. Come on. Nice. What? Are there more? thought this was the entire event. Oh, no. Huh. Whew. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now, fortunately, we don't need the resources of the trolls, so I'm just going to dump them back into the swamp now that the event has been over. Look at those juicy bones. Look at those juicy bones, and that's a one star. And a one star archer. Whoa. Kind of dangerous, friend. You're kind of. Oh, oh. You're kind of dangerous. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the board to the rescue. See, the forest is with me. I'm going to need a ton of blood bags for the potions. And not only for the potions, I think they're used in other. Um, yeah, in food recipes as well, blood bags. So we're going to need a lot of them kind of need to farm all the leeches that I can get my hands on in this amazing biome. So I'm always turning down the SSAO in here and I know I've mentioned this a thousand times and I will mention it a thousand more because it's super important. Vision makes the difference. You're gonna see in the future videos uh, having a blizzard on a mountain or having nighttime with full shadows and SSAO in the swamp. Come on. Come. Really? is a uh, pain uh, pain in the ass in here and get you killed fair and square if you're not um, 
Oh, look at that. I think that's an abomination, if you're not careful enough. So let's take care of that sucker. We kind of need his... Uh, kind of need his roots for the chest piece of the armor. We're going to use the root armor, but not in the mountain biomes. We're going to use it in other biomes, for instance, in plains. It's super useful. But not against the shaman. <laughs> so we'll see. We, we, I've got an advice about uh, combining the armor pieces, right? Because some armor give you certain bonuses and combine them to make the ideal armor, not just rely on a single set. So that's a cool advice, and definitely we're gonna do that. I wanna rely on movement speed as much as possible, because if I'm able to run and put some distance between me and the monsters, I'm able to also take them down. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the Ashlands, if we ever get there. I don't think we will, but who knows. Let's stay strong, let's have a positive mind and uh, <laughs> hope for the best. Maybe we'll get there, who knows. So yeah, blobs here, that giant oozer, what's, what is it called? I think it's an oozer. I also need their, um, I also need their drop, the ooze, for the muck shake and other recipes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, this was not planned for. This was not planned for, it was a quick reaction. But you're gonna get the fire, the fire punishment. You're gonna get nice and toasty. No, I, I can dodge his attacks. I've played around his attacks, but definitely not gonna risk it. Not at this point, not on permadeath. No way in hell I'm gonna get close to that thing. That thing can delete me in one swing. I think it's worse than the trolls, the abomination. Fortunately, you're super safe on top of the sunken crypts. They can't reach you in here. Actually, in the swamp, no other monsters can reach you beside the wraith. The wraith is the only one that can reach you on top of the sunken crypts. Get all the resources. Trying to snipe. Um, that wasn't a clean snipe. So that must be one star, yeah. <laughs> There you go. Also need all the entrails. I've noticed the Draugr village close to where we uh, where we have the swamp. And we might go there in the future for uh, an endless stream of entrails. Those are delicious. Yum yum. Just given the fact that you're gonna use meat and you're gonna stuff the meat into a dead man's entrails. I don't know, do the entrails thing uh, smell like fish? Let me know in the comments. Do you think the entrails in, <laughs> in this one smell like fish? Because that means we're gonna have... Um, I mean, the sausages will taste funny. And uh, definitely not, not your normal type of sausage. But this brave viking has no trouble with food poisoning or anything. He's just here for it. So, into the sunken crypts we go, again. And we're gonna have a lot of farming and grinding in here, so bear with me. Um, what? 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 Imagine if that was a two-star dropper. Did you guys spot him? Because I didn't. I just went into here, waited for the entire thing to load for a second. And I just got shot. Why not? Now, it's always ideal to check all the open areas, like this, these ones. Like this guy. Because they might sneak on you when you start, say, farming the... What's it called? The... <laughs> the mighty scrap piles. God. Right. So I try to find a good spot for my uh, bonus. Trying to get the rest of the bonus. It's kind of hard to get it. Yeah, oh, come on. Really? <laughs> oh my god. There are monsters in the other room, and that's why I can't get my... There, there you go. They're just here. I can't get my rest above. That was super, super annoying. Oh, and there's a blob. And a Draugr there. And a Draugr Archer there. Nice. Oh. Really? 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 Come on. Let me, let me see your head. Oh my god. My aim, my aim! <laughs> my aim sucks at this point. Come on, come on. Let me pop your head. Nice, finally, finally. 
Um, there's another. <laughs> there's another one. A fresh one just spawned. So we have to take care of that bloody spawner. I'm gonna take him out, just gonna make him a bit dizzy. Nice. Let's just get rid of the spawner and now we can be safe in here. Safe-ish, because in the next room... Ooh, oh, oh, look at that, look at that. That was, that was a beauty. Uh, I have no poison resistance. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been... That was an oversight. But look what we found here. Let me just get rid of this guy. Oh my god, there's another one. Another pile of shit. Another... Come... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> that, was, that was the stupidest dodge roll I've ever performed in this game. I dodge rolled after I got hit. Why? <laughs> it's panicking. Oh, no. That was a one star. So, see, if not for the root armor, that guy would have staggered me. So, actually, the root armor saved me. Let's see the direction of this... Sucker. Okay, is it that way? Definitely that way. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's keep in mind that we have a stone here, a veggie severe stone, and how is it? I think it's veggie severe. Cold. I call them boss stones. It's way easier. Get rid of all the muddy scrap pile in here. A lot of very tedious process. So I'm just gonna fast forward to it, go really fast. Try not waste your time. It's really annoying to get it with the antler pick. Oh, there's a nice dragger in here, just one. Yeah, definitely not worth grabbing the bronze pick. So I was, that was easily the best advice that I got out of you guys. Getting to farm these with the antler pick instead of wasting a lot of bronze and having to transport the forge with me all the time. But eventually we're gonna end up there. I'm not going onto the mountain farming silver without the forge. So if you're gonna play with no map, no portals, you have to plan ahead really, really good. Right? So... Basically bring everything with you. Bring the forge, bring the workbench, bring a card. So you kind of have to have a small base. Ooh, nice. Found iron. So you have to carry a small base with you at all the times. Which can be problematic at times. So, things to do, things to do. Oh look, more muddy scrap piles. I will be happy when I will stop seeing the <laughs> these things. Honestly, for me, the swamp is the most... Um, or the less appealing... Oh, right. Nice, go. <laughs> less appealing biome out of all of them. Um... Yeah, I actually didn't plan for this. I forgot to bring my second pickaxe. And now we have to work with all that we got. <laughs> we have only one pick. So we need to go and repair. Yeah, see, this is one of the downside, but um, we can repair it at a workbench. We don't need to carry the forge, which is pretty heavy because of those six copper ingots. So let's see, everything goes in there and here. Quick, 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 let's repair. Always make sure when you come out of the crypts to look around for, uh, for enemies. They can be near you and that can be really dangerous. You're gonna see soon what happens. So still going for all the muddy scrap pile that I can get my hands on. I don't know exactly how much iron I need, but I want to be prepared for the future too. Kind of need, I kind of want to have a, a ton of it stacked. Because uh, I can't come here, right? So let's see. Uh, yeah, if I if I die, right? So on one side, let, let me put it differently. <laughs> okay. It's not worth getting a lot of resources because you might die, and you're run, and uh, all the world you're having it's it's over pretty fast. But on the other hand, if you survive, you will have to come back here and grab more. Resources which will increase the chance of you dying. So which is the best way? <laughs> Being here here less time and grabbing more resources or coming having to come here twice or uh, three times That will uh, prolong your exposure to the environment and all the bad stuff that's happening in the swamp and all the dangers that lurk in the muddy corners 
and the bog. So I don't know. You tell me which one would you prefer? Coming here two or three times or grabbing more resources at once? So yeah, having to farm uh, more is definitely the option I chose here. Might not be the best one, I don't know, we'll see. So fortunately when you come out of a uh, crypt, all the areas that are wet kind of get uh, lit up. And you can quickly scan the swamp to see if there are any, any enemies nearby. That actually helps a lot. So having some extra resources there that I want to dump, they're just annoying. Ooh, look at that. That's an oozer. And we lost the rest of the buff, which is just great in time for fighting this guy. But yeah, definitely check for monsters around your uh, your structures. Um, hello. <laughs> nice seeing you there, friend, neighbor. Rotten neighbor. Because these guys can destroy your chests and everything. And I was thinking, are those spars going to be a problem? Probably not. So back in here, let's just start smacking even more Moddy Scrap Piles. That's what all the grind is about. So uh, mostly I, I smack them for, um, for the withered bones. The withered bones, right? But also for um, the obvious reason, the iron. I think we're done. That was it. We're done with this uh, sunken crypt. And I was like, yeah, let's keep the SSAO down here. So you're gonna see me fiddling with options a lot, just because of the SSAO. Right about here I was thinking, how the heck am I gonna transport the ore? Because at this point I actually realized I have no card. So I was like, uh, let's grab the normal resources, the workbench and whatnot and everything. Take them to the base and then come the other day for the ore, for the ore and the rest of them. Now, um, something really interesting happened here. I almost died, to put it simple. And yeah, I saw that there were enemies nearby, so I was just gonna get out and check what enemies are nearby. Come on, I'm not in the swamp, I'm in the meadows, maybe a grayling or something that I'm missing, or maybe a boar, no. No enemies, so I was trying to sleep. But there are enemies nearby, so that's really annoying. Come on, what enemies? And then I was like, that boar? No, he's not here, he's not aggroed on me. And at some point I realized maybe there's something in the water? Maybe there's a leech in the water. Is there? So I was just gonna check if there's a leech in the water here, and I couldn't see no leech. Oh, there's the leech. There's the leech, and accidentally I fell into the water in front of the leech, and I got 22 seconds of poison. I had no poison resistance meat, I had to pop one really quick here, yet in the boat. Luckily I had the boat, otherwise I would have been dead here. Because the leech would have chopped me, so meats and potions actually saved me from my own stupidity here. A leech, a normal leech can end your life just like that. Super easy. Yeah. Just like that. And I also forgot a different thing. I forgot to bring... Uh, you're gonna see by the time we're gonna leave the swamp. Because I'm kind of getting ready for that. I forgot to bring home... The wood from the... The ancient bark. Right. I forgot to bring back the ancient bark. So we're gonna get the ancient bark after we come here for the third time and maybe, maybe look for the bone mass. Hopefully he is nearby. Maybe on a different island or in this swamp. Who knows? It's kind of a large swamp, so he could be here, but he could entirely be on another island. We'll see. Wow, look at that. A two... Really pig? <laughs> a two-star dragger. I'm not gonna kill him in the water. I want him out so I can get the loot. And he kind of summoned his friends. <laughs> he, bro he, he brought reinforcements. Bony ones at that. Okay. And more leech in the water. Not another skeleton. I want to get the leeches too. 
like I said, for the blood bags. Yeah, so this was the problem. Because <laughs> I had to throw them on the ground, wait for stamina, and move really slow. And this is dangerous. This is something I would advise against when you're in the swamp. Walking while uh, encumbered. Throwing them on the ground, waiting for stamina. Yeah, this was this was annoying. I had to do this just because I forgot the cart. Like I said, I forgot to bring the cart with me. And there's no way in hell I can get uh, bronze nails <laughs> in here. So yeah, let's just not do that. Risking it here for a biscuit. Getting rid, of the, getting rid of these skeletons. But like I said, there were some leeches here and I didn't get them last time. I uh, Well, on the way into the swamp, but I'm gonna get them right now. Because there's a one-star leech. It was green and I spotted it just when I came in here. Like I said, anything for the blood bag. Heck, I sound like a bloody vampire. But yeah, anything for a blood bag, honestly. Look at those precious eight blood bags. Back to the base. Eventually I got to the base with all the iron scraps. Getting them in, trying to get rid of all the items to get them onto the boat and try to figure out everything that's going on and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have the stamina for a swim. <laughs> so let's throw them on the ground again. Oh god. Like I said, it takes a lot of planning. Wow, this game is really punishing in terms of planning. Uh, this challenge, not, not the game itself, but the challenge. So yeah, having a portal or stuff like that would have helped a lot in this situation. It's, it's cool that you can travel while... Uh, travel while... swim while uh, encumbered. That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> if they remove that, then... Um, then the game becomes even more annoying here and there. But overall this is really by far the best game I've ever played. The best survival game I've ever played. In terms of action and uh, creativity and what you can do in this game. It's, it's amazing. Now let's see what items do we bring back home, what items do we leave here. Because I'm thinking at this point, I'm only going to leave here the items that I need for uh, future progress and also for a bone mass, if we're going to find the bone mass. So let's drop some items in the generous storage of this boat. This boat should have had two storages like this. That would have been great. Maybe we're going to do in the future a run with mods. I mean, I, w I will do a run with mods, and I heard there is a mod where you can actually personalize your ship and have everything, build your own ship, and that would be frankly amazing, that would be bonkers. Or maybe um, maybe there is no such mod, we'll see. But yeah, having being able to play everything on a boat or uh, having the boat with you, oh, come on, that would, be, that, would be, that would be great. Not a great day for sailing, because uh, when I got back, I had this annoying fog. And if not for the clearance that we're gonna get here, the fog just cleared out of nowhere, I would have got totally lost, because look where I have to go. I'm going... Look where I'm going. And look where I have to go. Yeah... <laughs> I had to do a 90 degrees turn. Just because I was going in the bad direction. Come on, I almost, almost got lost there. See, this is this is why I hate traveling with a boat, because the fog, the fog you get in the, uh, the or during an ocean trip, is super annoying. If it's not fog, it's gonna be a thunderstorm. So you tell me which is the best, the fog or the thunderstorm? Which one you prefer <laughs> when sailing? I think I would take the thunderstorm any time over the fog. The fog is super confusing. Because if you don't have a fog, you can see your landmarks, right? Your islands in the distance, and you, you know where to go. But yeah, eventually we got back home after around 30 minutes or 40 minutes of sailing. Not 40, but I, I think there were 30. 30 minutes. 
yeah. These guys kind of need resin. I have to change them. I need to place copper ones. But that means I have to go farm copper too. And I can't... You know, the normal torches take a lot of resin. And the copper ones don't. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, nice. Medium healing. We have medium healing here. Ready to go. 68 days. Golly, we're gonna get close to 100 days. If I'm gonna get the modder... In a hundred days, that would be amazing for me. If I can get the mother or to the mother in a hundred days. Who knows, we might. But given the fact that this is a lot of back and forth because of the no portal setting, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to sort them up. Sort them in there. They're everywhere, my items are everywhere, so I, I like to keep them well organized. Nice, the turnip seeds are here. So let's plant the turnip. We're gonna need a lot of them. I love the system with the <laughs> cultivator hanged here outside. Because I usually kept them in the chest inside the base and it was really annoying to have to go into the chest every time. Now you can just grab it off a shelf and put it back when you're done with it. So I think it's way more practical like this. We're getting a lot of turnip for obvious reasons. <laughs> The food requires a lot of turnip. So just repair the cultivator and put it back on its shelf. Nice! Like that. So yeah, at this point, what do we do? What do we do? Alright, we have a lot of other materials on the boat. So let's go get those materials from the boat. Nice and smooth. All the meat. Then we're gonna have to come back for the ore. Obviously. But yeah, you have to be you have to you need a lot of patience <laughs> if you're gonna play like this. It's a lot of back and forth. It's it's a bit annoying. But yeah, having a lot of patience in this mode and this challenge definitely pays off. And it will pay off in the future. Yeah, so we can have a lot of gold. I haven't found Haldor. I don't think we'll ever find Haldor. We have no map. Only by a divine miracle. <laughs> if Odin intervenes. <laughs> Maybe... Oh, no. Oh, no. Again? Why? So, see? I'm only getting the trolls. I think I've got three swamp events and six troll events. I'm only joking. I think there are four trolls and three swamp events. But now we can test the new format of the base. So I'm just gonna go outside and check where they're all at. Oh, they're there. This was not the best idea I've had. Um, where's your friend? I think it's on the left side. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I thought it was stuck. Sometimes they get stuck. They're so large, they get stuck. Let's just blast them with arrows. Look at their bold heads. Bold blue heads. Show me them. Show me them heads. Show me them troll heads. Ooh, having a necklace with troll heads. That would be amazing. You know, I give an item that you can buy. A Valheim merch. <laughs> troll heads necklace. For the... Uh, <laughs> for the hunter. The only one I'm scared of uh, is the, the one with uh, the giant log. This guy does some insane damage. Yeah. And I was like, am I gonna go after him? Let's wait for a second. Maybe he's gonna leave. It's kind of risky to go up here. He might swing at me and there was no, no trace of him. I wasn't gonna bother with him. They Usually they despawn, so I went for the iron. But yeah, fortunately we can do this. Just swim with a ton of iron on your back. Ow, my spine! So, no more stamina, that means we have to throw stuff. Aww. Isn't that a waste? I'm polluting the ocean with iron. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the stupid thing. How do you get the card inside the base if you have no gate and no flat ground? <laughs> I've tried different options, right? I've tried different ways. But the only way that's effective 
that I found that's effective. Let me know if you have another idea for this crap right here. Is to build stairs, not ladders, stairs. Then you can take your cart and your cargo onto the stairs. If you're not able to pull the cart onto the stairs, you can still um, uh, grab the resources. So I have to split them even here so I can grab them on me and jump with every single batch of iron. So I went back and forth up until I got all the iron into the chests. And yeah, everything goes to their recording place. Let's have some extra meads. Thank you all so much for watching. This is everything that I have for this episode. Hope you like it. I got a longer episode just like you requested. Maybe we're going to have a short one after this. And hopefully I can make everyone happy. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in the next adventure.